Welcome back to the Mennonite Farmhouse. And today I'm going to help you figure out what to do with that zucchini that you have come piled in the door. Either if you grow it yourself and can grow it successfully, or you have friends that can grow it. This year we decided not to grow any because we always have problems with squash bugs and it's just a mess. But I have friends that are good gardeners and have blessed me with some. So I like making fritters out of zucchini with fresh basil and Parmesan cheese. I actually am starting to look forward to zucchini just for that reason. And I can dip those fritters in ranch. It's really good. In fact, we had it for lunch today. I found this zucchini bread recipe in an email from Taste of Home. And it happens to be from a lady who won first place in the Pennsylvania Farm Show with this recipe. And it took me months to find one of the ingredients. I don't know if it's COVID related or what, but I had a good time finding rum extract. I finally had to go to Walmart of all places, which is a good drive for me. To get it and yeah I went to grocery store after grocery store to find it around here but I made it the first time and it was wonderful so and that naturally I used up all my zucchini that was in the freezer for that recipe plus and I ran out and because the recipe calls for three cups of shredded zucchini. So I actually reconstituted some zucchini that I had stored away and my husband couldn't tell the difference between what was from the freezer or what was from the dehydrator. So I consider that a win. So let's get started. For the dry ingredients we have four cups of all-purpose flour, three cups of white sugar, and I bet you probably could put maybe a half a cup of brown sugar and instead of one of the half cups of white sugar if you want to give it a different depth of flavor. We have two teaspoons of baking powder, one teaspoon of baking soda, and one and a half teaspoons of salt. For the wet ingredients we have one and a half cups of oil and a teaspoon of each of vanilla rum and coconut and four eggs at room temperature and for the yummy part we have three cups of shredded zucchini we have a whole cup of crushed pineapple i'm using my home canned pineapple that i canned in chunks and i just blended up in the blender a little bit and it calls for a half a cup of nuts but i decided to go with a half a cup of walnuts and a half a cup of pecans and the recipe doesn't call for coconut but if you have it why not throw it in so okay in the first bowl we are going to mix up the dry ingredients our sugar our flour baking powder our soda and our salt And just twist that up. Then in a different bowl, crack our eggs in. One at a time, obviously. I can crack them two at a time, but I don't want to show off today. And I'll whisk those up a little bit before I pour in the oil. And our extracts. And it might be a good idea to pre-measure your ingredients. That way you don't leave anything out or accidentally dump anything more in. 
I'm slowly learning not to dump measure sometimes, especially black powder or black pepper. I've been known to do that. All right. And I decided to use mixing bowls and whisk and spoons today instead of using my fancy mixer because not everybody has those kinds of pieces of equipment in their house. And I wanted to make this recipe easy for anybody. Then you just want to pour your wet ingredients in. And just mix to combine. And make sure you're using bowls that are big enough because this recipe does make three loaves of bread or the equivalent of 36 muffins. I actually looked on King Arthur's website to see if you can convert a quick bread to a muffin and you can, it is a one-to-one -one ratio. You don't have to add or subtract anything from your recipe, which I was like so happy I found that out because I've often wondered what was the difference between a quick bread and a muffin because I hardly ever make muffins, but I have this recipe for blueberry quick bread that is very good with lemon in it that would make a great muffin. All right, when you get that all combined there and you don't see any flour on the edge of your bowl, that's when you add the rest of your ingredients. And at this point, it might look a little stiff, but the zucchini and the pineapple will perk that right up. And you want to have your oven preheated to 350. And this is when I suggest you have a big bowl like this if you're mixing by hand, if you make messes like I do. Anything's possible as long as you put your mind to it. And if you have everything organized that you have it all pre-measured it might be easy to bring your kids in to help cook because that's why I like to bake so much is because my mom always had me in the kitchen helping her when I was little and she made a lot of zucchini bread I think her recipe for just plain Jane zucchini bread is very good all right See how wet that is now? And you just want to fold in the ingredients here. You don't want to overbeat. All right, and I got mini loaves out and a whole loaf out and muffin tins just to show you how it can be done. And you want to fill these three-fourths full. But you want it to be nice size, but not too full. Unless you want the dollar 39 size at giant or wherever you would buy they buy your baked goods at 
and the first time I tried this recipe my husband volunteered that this was really good I didn't even have to ask him what he thought about it To in the video I thank you and I give you a tip don't rush to take these out of the tins and the pans because you have to let them cool but I'm in a hurry to get this done so I can go pick my beans so I can can them tomorrow and I guess you want a taste test and they're absolutely delicious but I'm sorry that my cat is ripping the tripod. Oh, that's life, I guess. But these are so moist. And I think the coconut, shredded coconut is necessary in this meal. Yeah. They freeze well. They're great for breakfast is on the go. And I think your family's gonna love these and they're not gonna say, oh no, not another zucchini bread recipe. These are really good. Until next time, be safe and enjoy life. God bless.